Hello, this is Miss Steinbaugh, and this lesson is a kind of a warm-up, kind of a reminder about different ways you can put your pencil to paper. What I want you to do, either on a nice sketchbook page, this is in one of my sketchbooks that's about 9 by 12, or on a piece of copy paper. If you have copy paper, that'll work too. Um, on one side of your paper or in one section of your paper I want you to create five little value scales and value scales remember show a progression going dark medium to light now in making these value scales I want you to try different kinds of pencil applications or just might you might say pencil textures come up with some different kinds of textures and then pick an object if you're at home, you might draw your shoe, you might look around your room and find something that you really, really like. If you're in my classroom, you will see I have a lot of bones. I, I like to draw skulls and things. Uh, make a format, draw out a rectangle or a square, and then draw your object so it really fills it in. I don't want anything really small and isolated with a whole lot of space around it. See if you can get it to touch maybe two or three sides of that rectangle or square. Then. Pick one of your pencil applications from over here and shade. Now, my skull had a lot of shading for the background and just a little bit on the object when I did that one. Um, another example is a vase at home. This is actually a vase that I made. It's a lot of copper. I should bring it. It's really cool. Um, I like scribbles. I like scribbles a lot. So, this is my preferred pencil application, and of course I did a little bit of rubbing and all that. It's zoomed in, so it's touching four sides, and then I use scribbles for shading, and I use scribbles in the background to keep it all unified. This one, the skull, is also unified because it's all of these um, crosshatch. So you might, if you need to, get kind of warmed up. Maybe you just want to play around with your pencil and see what kinds of things you can do. And remember, you can hold your pencil all different ways. You don't have to hold it like this all the time. So come up with different kinds of pencil applications and just play and then create your five value scales. I seem to really like this one right now. Choose an object to draw and then pick one of your pencil applications for the shading. Oh, those of you who have had me before know that once I get started drawing, I have a really, really hard time stopping, even on videos. Okay, let's try, like, maybe I'll just hold my pencil in really strange ways and see what I can That's it, get to work, talk to you later, photograph, upload on Google Classroom. Thank you very much.